This is Dread Central's Weekly Wrap-Up, and I'm your host, Mike Phelan. If you missed it live this week, check out the replay of the latest Brainwaves, where we got to talk to the one and only Felissa Rose. You know, Sleepaway Camp's Angela, the girl who was packing a little extra something. It was a third nipple. The seventh season of The Walking Dead hasn't even aired yet, and AMC has already renewed it for an eighth outing. If you haven't already seen Thomas Decker's flick, Jack Goes Home, Swing by our site to check out an exclusive clip. It's available on Video On Demand and Digital HD right now. The original chatterer, Nicholas Berman Vince, shared some behind-the-scenes information about the first Hellraiser, including how Pinhead's makeup evolved and why he was referred to as the poor bastard on the call sheet. The man behind some of the best-named films in the horror genre has passed away. Ted V. Michaels will always be remembered fondly for Astro Zombies, Corpse Grinders, and Blood Orgy of the She-Devils. Dread Central is your place for an exclusive sneak peek at Steve Radzinski's Karis Hell. I shouldn't really have to spell this one out for you, but yes, this film is about a murderous carousel horse. There may just be a sequel or more in the works for the killer clowns from outer space. The sequel has been in the works since the 1980s, but a new venture may bring the killer clown series to TV along with the original and new cast. Nothing solid yet, but keep your eyes open. Shin Godzilla's limited U.S. theatrical run has been expanded in a big way. On October 22nd, there will be a special screening in 200 theaters, then daily through October 27th in multiple other venues. Check out Funimation's site to see when the King of the Monsters will be near you. I hate emojis. God damn do I loathe them. Just about as much as Trump hates poor people. But god damn do I like to see them murder people. Check out Alex J. Mann's short emoji slasher film Wink over at Dread Central right now. If you're still on the fence about getting a PS4 Pro or the PSVR, check out the 4K B-roll footage of Killing Floor 2 we found. The Pro allows for a higher frame rate and quote-unquote ultra textures that are supposed to help out with the VR immersion. Sadly, the PS4 Pro doesn't have a 4K Blu-ray player, because Night of the Living Dead is getting an ultra-high definition restoration. While the disc release of the Romero Classic hasn't been hinted at at all yet, you can see the 4K version at the Museum of Modern Art's 14th Annual To Save and Project. Tickets for the first screening of Night of the Living Dead will go on sale October 22nd. That's it for the weekly wrap-up. Head on over to DreadCentral.com to see what you missed throughout the week. Give us a liking here on YouTube. Subscribe to us. Head over to my channel. Subscribe to me. Go on Twitter and say nice things about me in 140 characters. Yay. See you next Friday.